these days, most home networks are just fine for playing games. As long as you have a decent enough connection to your ISP, most consoles and consumer routers get you to just about good enough by default. But there are some minor tweaks and upgrades you can do to get yourself one step further. A lot of what we're gonna be talking about today could be applied to pretty much any home network or router. This video is sponsored by Asus, and we're gonna be throwing out my old router for this new Asus ROG Rapture GT6. So I'm gonna be using that to perform all of these tricks and showing off some of its features in the process. But again, you can make a lot of improvements to your network with whatever you currently have. This just makes it cooler. Whoa, yeah. It starts by just having a wired connection, if you can. That's the best way to ensure that you have the fastest, most uninterrupted signal possible. Your Wi-Fi might be good, but little micro inconsistencies in the signal might cause some hiccups. Something as simple as turning on the microwave can pause your connection. This is why I have my modem and router set up right next to my computer, because this is where I'm gonna get the fastest connection possible. My switch is also connected through ethernet. But sometimes you just can't run cables all throughout your house. Sometimes some things are just gonna have to be on Wi-Fi, but there are ways to optimize that wireless connection. Newer consoles like the PlayStation 5 have Wi-Fi 6, which came out in 2019. Making sure you have compatibility for that will get you speeds of up to 9.6 gigabits per second. That's something that my old router did not have. This new Asus one does. This router is also part of a mesh network. Maybe you've got a big house and need a lot of range. I went from living in a Brooklyn apartment to a normal sized house. So an upgrade is much appreciated. A mesh network uses multiple access points throughout the house to create a mesh of Wi-Fi all over your property. So you should have a pretty decent connection wherever you are within that mesh. So I've got the main router down here in my office and the node upstairs where Hannah's gaming computer is. Hannah, we're filming in your uh, room up here. No. <laughs> Not allowed. This is my house. I'm not allowed to build my house. What do you want for lunch? Taco Joe's. Taco Joe's? We can get Taco Joe's. Oh, oh God, I gotta connect everything. <laughs> I gotta go around the house and reconnect everything to the Wi-Fi. May we come in? <laughs> this helps expand the Wi-Fi all over the house. And there's only one network ID. So for example, my phone will seamlessly transition between using the main router and using the node, depending on whatever I'm closest to. Hannah can also plug her gaming computer directly into the node, which is gonna get her a more direct connection than she would have had if she was just using the computer's Wi-Fi. Thought that was gonna be a lot harder. Ugh. That's what she said. <laughs> this computer has a pretty terrible Wi-Fi card. The node has three ethernet ports, so you can connect a bunch of consoles here if you wanted to. This would also be great for a living room if you had a bunch of consoles there too. You can really put this anywhere in the house to improve the signal or the speed of those devices. Eventually, I plan on running an ethernet cable through my house from the router to the node to ensure the fastest, most uninterrupted connection possible. Because again, there's just nothing like having a hardwired connection. But I know not everybody can drill holes in their wall. Hell, I'm gonna put it off. And the ASUS router tries to mitigate this with smart antenna. It will actually know where the node is and try to point its antenna at it to ensure the fastest connection possible. But there are some things you can do to improve your connection without the router at all. You could just do this on the console itself. Go into your console settings, your network settings, and try to find the MTU setting. On a Nintendo Switch, you have to click on your network and select change settings and scroll down. Change the MTU value from 1400 to 1500. This is literally gonna increase the size of each packet of information your device gets making the connection faster and reducing the amount of packet loss. I'm not really sure why consoles are still defaulting to 1400. Most home networking devices default to 1500. Another thing I like to do is just use the Google public DNS server. This can sometimes be faster than your ISP's 
DNS server. You can do this also in your console's network settings. In the switch, go to the same place you were before and just change the DNS settings to manual. Then use 8.8.8.8 for the primary and 8.8.4.4 for the secondary. And that should help a little bit. You can also sometimes do this on the router level. And this Asus router allows you to do that as well. One issue that plagues multiplayer games is NAT type differences. You ever try to play a multiplayer game with somebody and it yells at you that you have the wrong NAT type? Now all of a sudden you gotta be a network administrator to play Mario Kart? One way to get around this is to set the router to have an open NAT type, if you can even do that on your router. And it's different for every router. On this Asus one, you can just go to the app, head over to settings, gaming, and select open NAT type. Now you can just add whatever game you're playing. No more NAT type issues. Oh my God, they got every game that exists. They got 30XX on here. <laughs> Some games even require specific ports to be open on your router. Think of a port like a lane on a highway. Sometimes lanes are closed for like safety reasons. Or if you live in New York, just all the time for no reason at all. I remember way back in the day, the original Borderlands required me to go into my router settings and open up specific ports for me to even be able to play with my friends. These days, most games just use ports that are already open on your router anyway, so you don't have to do too much, but using this same open NAT setting, we can specify what game we're playing and make those lanes a little wider, prioritizing these specific ports that these games are gonna use. This is also gonna create some port forwarding rules to best optimize the network for the specific games you choose. Hannah literally only plays Valorant on this PC, so I'm gonna give her the Valorant rule set. If you wanna piss off everybody else in the house, you can prioritize your gaming traffic by going into the QoS settings or quality of service settings. If you enable this, the router will know what data is for gaming and make sure that info is sent first, before then making sure your mom gets her Netflix show to the living room. That really shouldn't be necessary. Games don't take up that much data. Oh, you can like move around what's priority. So I wanna watch Netflix now. Oop, now Netflix is the priority. Oh no, I wanna, I wanna game. Game is priority. Sometimes just one of these tweaks is enough to dramatically improve your network speeds and consistency. This right here is Hannah's computer upstairs before using Wi-Fi on my old router and after using the node. Still wireless, just wired to the node this time. Big difference. But sometimes the difference is marginal. It's different for everybody. But it's worth tweaking around some of these settings a little bit to better optimize that connection that you currently already have. And a marginal improvement could still mean the difference between you landing your shots or not. And what's more important than being good at a video game? So what do you guys think about how to best optimize your network for gaming? Yeah, come here, come here. Come here. Yay. What do you guys think of this guy, huh? Let me know in the comments if you tried any of these things and if it helped even just a little bit. Thank you, Asus, for sponsoring this video and for upping my network like a decent amount. You got double the network speed on that computer up there, by the way. Almost double. We got streams over on twitch.tv slash wolfden. Come over there and hang out and talk to me in the chat. But the most important thing that you can do is help support this channel is just subscribe right here and share this video with a friend. A friend who maybe has it is just a terrible ping in the games that you play with them. Don't forget to check out Asus at the link in the description below and check out that new router that I got. Thank you guys very much. Have yourself a very good week.